Hi, my name is Justin DeRoy. My name is Jesus Fadel Ramirez. All right, and you are listening to uh, Just Two Guys Talk Movies. Talk Movies. Anyway, now, to finally get to the finishing, uh, Jesus is going to go down his list of uh, his most anticipated movies of the summer and further, because there's a few other ones uh, later on in the year also he's going to give you. But anyway, uh, Jesus, go ahead and go. Okay, well, I don't have many. Uh, cause the majority of the films I'm looking forward to are coming out later in the year, like at the end of the year. But anyway, the first movie I, that I think is coming out either n- now or in, or in the, like in the next couple of months is Locke with... Um, I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry, that's my dog. Sorry, with Tom. Oh my god, she wants me to pet her. Lock with Tom Hardy. Um, this movie looks really good. I have no idea what it's about because I, I don't want to know what it's about. I want to, you know, go in the theater completely not knowing anything. But I hear very good things about it. I hear that he's like the best part of the thing. And, you know, I like it. I, uh, Tom Hardy. I think he, I appreciate that he that he's that he's very much a character actor, you know. Even though he looks like a blockbuster, like an action, you know, action film kind of actor, but he always does different things, and most of them always are dark. But you know, they try to he tries to be different, and I appreciate that. Anyway, the next movie, and that one comes out. I think it comes out. Uh, I think it should be in theaters now, selected theaters. Uh, I, I'm busy, hold on. Um, uh, the next movie is that I'm planning to see for the summer is, of course, Godzilla. Godzilla! Uh, that movie comes out in May. And, you know, in terms of, like, the script and the story, or the script slash story, uh... I want to say I'm not expecting much, so I'm not going in there with high expectations. I just going in there because it looks it looks like it's gonna be a whole lot of fun, you know. Uh, I love Godzilla, the whole the whole idea of it. So, and then judging by the trailers, you know, I, it, it looks like it's gonna be kind of cool, and it has good actors in it, so I think it's gonna be decent. Um, and I'm gonna go see that midnight showing for that one on the IMAX. And the last movie that I'm looking forward to seeing in the summer is called Boyhood. And this movie is an independent film, I believe. And it's uh, directed by Richard Linklater. Linklater, sorry. I don't know. Uh, and and it stars... Um, sorry. Oh, yeah, he's the director, of course, of, you know, the Before Midnight and... Uh, before sunset and before sunrise. Uh, anyway, this movie looks really good because uh, it's. I don't know what, exactly what it's about, but I think it might be. A, I think it might be a coming of age story about a boy and his family. You know, his uh, what you know what goes on in his life. But Justin, are you listening? Yep. Uh, it's, what's kind of cool about it is that they started shooting this movie. I I'm, don't know exactly how long ago, but uh, maybe like a decade ago. Uh, they started recording. So pretty much we're going to see the boy, you know, see him as the, the guy, see him as a kid all the way to his like late teenage years maybe. And we're going to see him. We're going to actually see him grow like, you know, in real time. Oh, wow. And, and every, not just him, but everybody else obviously around him. And I'm really looking forward to that because, I mean, obviously, not every movie can do that. You have to have an incredible amount, not just, forget about patience, but just who's willing to back that kind of project up, you know? It's almost like a real life, uh, that one Jim Carrey film, almost. Can't think yeah, of, what's I the guess name so. But, yeah. uh, just that itself, you know, is, is, gather, is garnering a lot of attention, so... Uh, that's definitely a movie that I'm gonna go see just to see, just to see the result of that. Um, and it's getting good reviews, so um, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. And it's and it has Ethan Hawke and Patricia Arquette, 
and many other people. So that, those are that's it for me for the summer. All right. Do you see other films within the year you wanted to also list off? Well, those are coming out later in the year. I don't know if we're going to do, like, a fall or winter movie. Well, yeah, I said since you don't already have a lot of films, since you don't want to apparently see any other big block, uh, blockbusters during the summer, because your hipster, like, is like, oh, I only got to go see the trendy films. But, yeah, go ahead and list off all of them, because, you know, this is a short list. Oh. Okay, well, well number one is... Okay, well, number 19 was Locke. 18 was The Immigrant with Joaquin Phoenix, Jeremy Renner, and Marion Cotillard. I really want to see that. Uh, Macbeth with uh, Magneto. What's his name? The guy who's playing Magneto? The young Magneto? Uh, I forget his name. Oh, my Michael God. Fassbender. Michael Fassbender, I love him. Uh, he's coming out in a movie called Macbeth. Who w- oh, and it's also with... Uh, uh, Marianne Cotillard, if I'm, if I'm, uh, with Marianne Cotillard, um, and, oh my god, and I love her. Oh, I'm sorry, scratch that one, I think that one comes out in 2015. Um, <laughs> Ex- Exodus, Exodus, with Christian Bale, that's, uh, directed by Ridley Scott, I think it's gonna be about, the story about Moses. I heard that it was a uh, sequel to Onions. Huh? I'm just joking with you. It kind of looks a little bit like Noah, though, so I'm not sure. Oh, uh, that's what they're saying. Like, like they're similar films, but not really. They're different story, uh, biblical stories. Yeah. Uh, the other one is Under the Skin, which is in theaters now. I'm probably going to go see that sometime next week or this week. I don't know. Uh, Enemy, which I already saw. Uh... Godzilla Joe, which I plan to go see. It's already out now. Hide Your Smiling Faces. I don't really know much about that one, but it's an independent film. Boyhood Birdman comes out later this year. About a retired actor. Michael Keaton. Yeah. Uh, who I think he's playing an action hero. For yeah. Birdman, maybe. Big Eyes, which is the next Tim Burton movie that does not star Tom, uh, Johnny Depp. Uh, I don't think Johnny Depp is going to be in that one. I think it's going to be like a drama, straight up drama. I don't know. Interstellar, of course. Interstellar! Gone Girl. Uh, the Grand Budapest Hotel, which I already saw. Oh, uh, I want to and, see that. And, uh, the Wind Rises, which I already saw. And number one movie I'm looking forward to seeing this year is Inherent Vice by Paul Thomas Anderson. All right. Coolest. Completely different from mine, obviously, because everyone will notice. Go back and listen to mine, and I have all the fun movies. His Juice, again, has the, you know, the hipster films that you never heard of, that you probably will never hear of and will never see. I don't care. I don't care for, 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 I don't care for. And he thinks you're all stupid and lame for not wanting to see them. No, I'm not. I just, I don't, I don't care if a movie is is a block uh, is you know is, it costs I don't care if it costs a hundred million or a hundred thousand you know I think when a movie sucks it sucks and it doesn't matter how much money you spend on it and uh, I don't think he, he, you know independent films are better than big budget films and vice versa he says this now everyone but mark my words when he gets big he's gonna uh, not uh, he's gonna be the next Michael Bay doing all the big Action, explosion, extravaganza films out there. And he's going to be a complete seller and go take... against everything he says he is today. No, I'm not really. I'm joking. Because Michael Bay makes a lot of money. And at least you know his movies have good special effects. So Good special effects, sometimes shitty story. But <laughs> anyway, we've gone way over on top. And so, uh... We're going to peace out now. Anyway, so uh, thanks for tuning in. um, And tune in next time. Goodbye. Bye.